on coming in. Hey, what's happening, Doc? How you doing? Hey, Captain. Yeah, good, good, good. I just thought I'd pop in for five or ten minutes. It seems like you're ready to wind up. But good evening, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, what's happened with me is the last two or three days, I've been trying to line up uh, another bullet to fire into the ecosystem. So, what are you uh, doing? Sorry? What are you doing? You building something? No, no, just uh, getting some more fiat into uh the, oh yeah yeah so getting ready like, to make some buys <laughs> trying to scrape scrape it together again again but uh no i was just looking at the uh charts and uh there's kind of a mutual friend of ours that's been doing a lot of streaming lately and he was talking about and i never even thought about this comparing uh i, I know this a uh, fairly newbie but the first time i was suggested uh saw me talking about uh, do looking at the ratios like pulse X to pulse. I'm finding it really useful at the moment when I'm trying to decide which of the four uh, products I want to to uh, throw some fear towards. But uh, so I've kind of, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I bought tons of pulse X uh, originally at SAC, uh, SAC levels. And the fact I bought so much, my SAC price was under. Uh, four or three three zeros and a one so uh it hasn't been favorable for me to to buy anymore so i was kind of going into post but i'm gonna fire some off tonight when we finish towards pulse x fire another missile into pulse x <laughs> yeah so but uh just one thing that i thought i would that, that may i don't know if i can put a background up once i start streaming um probably not you don't have yeah. You don't have a green screen. Well, you can do it without a green screen. You can do it without a green screen. It's just uh, it's crazy. Uh, oh, actually, I've got a present thing. I'm. Like, can I do something here or not? Um, yeah, you can present. You, you've got something you want to throw up there? Yeah, yeah. It's just a neurological chart because I must admit I've been super, super nervous about putting uh, more money into the ecosystem and uh, very much like the very first investment I ever made back in. Uh, well. 93 when I bought my first house and it actually ended up being a tumble down house, but it was a great investment in the end. But I remember buying my first house and I basically wanted to vomit. I felt that nervous about it being tied into a mortgage uh, <laughs> and like, for the rest of your life. And you think, Oh my God, it's the rest of your life. So just like for, for, I mean, I know we've got a mixture of uh, people listening in, but like young investors, um, uh, this may be uh, useful, actually, and for old investors. If I can share, uh, what have I got? I just want to pull just a screen, or just a uh, an image out. Yeah, just go down to where it says present. Yeah, and the present button, and then it'll it'll tell you what uh, what screen you want to show the whole your if whole I'm computer sure. screen. Yep, it'll do it for you right there, and then I can bring it up. But I mean, this is for all investing, and this may go to explain quite a lot of uh, hangups people can get. So if we do share screen, because I don't know how to put this in, just, but I'll. Uh, I'll yeah, you it. just got to go where it says present down there on the bottom. Yeah, no, I've got that. I'm, okay. Uh, okay. Once you choose which one, it'll pop up tabs, here down. Tab window entire screen. There you go. I got it entire screen. I just don't want to dox myself, which I probably will because I'm a bit of a klutz. <laughs> oh, there it is. 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 Got it. Okay, great. Cool. There you go. So you guys can see this. Okay, so what this is, is this is uh, this is a nerve system. I'm a chiropractor. That's my main gig. Uh, and the, the, the this is kind of a neat uh, diagram. It shows you how all the different parts of the spine send signals to different parts of the body, different organs in the body. Now, um, it's split into two sections. One is the rest and digest. Let's see if I can actually zoom in on that. Oh, no, okay. One is rest and digest, which uh, is what we call the parasympathetic system. And the other is uh, sympathetic or fight and flight. So uh, it has uh, what they call a physiological effect on you. So whenever you make a decision, there's some sort of physiological effect going on. So there's chemicals moving throughout the body. And um, the easy way to remember it, to remember the physiological effect rather than trying to kind of memorize it is just imagine yourself if you had a bear in the room. If there's a bear in the room about to attack you, 
that's really what your body's doing in fight and flight or sympathetic. So for example, if a bear's about to attack you, uh, in fact, let me ask you, Captain, if a bear's about to attack you, does your heart rate go up or down, do you think? It goes up. Yeah, hey, it goes way up, hey? So when you're in sympathetic, your heart rate goes up. And then what about your breathing? Do you think you've got more oxygen or less? More breathing or less? Oh yeah, more breathing. Yeah, yeah so more breathing. Your eyes actually uh, dilate so you can get more light in because obviously you want to see the way out of the room where the bear is. And funnily enough, um, do you think you can do mass problems when you've got a bear in the room? So your thinking goes down, and this is vitally important. Yes. But when we're nervous and we get uh, anxious, our intelligence actually goes down, which is why during the zombie virus, so many people that you know, quite close to you, intelligent people making crazy, crazy decisions because the body's <laughs> actually in, uh, in um, fight and flight. And the energy from the brain goes uh, into uh, other areas, goes to the legs, the major muscles. And we get this adrenaline inside us. We get this uh, and we start to feel nervous. And the step, the, so the biggest energy uh, consuming organ is the brain. And then the second biggest is when we are digesting food, which is why when you feel nervous or you're like, you're, you're worried about something, you want to vomit or you feel like the, or you don't want to eat, you're not hungry. Also, you don't feel like sex. So uh, that's why, you know, uh, when we're stressed out, you know, all that goes out the window. So when we're making de like important decisions like invest in money, we want to try and take ourselves back to rest and digest. So we do that by, well, I'm a chiropractor. When I adjust the neck and the pelvis, that brings people back to rest and digest. But the other sort of things you can do is listen to music, you know, go on holiday, sit on the beach, just try and take yourself away from work and just chill out a bit. And then when you go to make your decisions, you invest in decisions, uh, pressing the, the, the buy button. Uh, that's why uh, that's why you want to be more on a rest and digest. That's why you want to take yourself more to that kind of uh, place. So obviously in the cold light of day, I made the decision that tonight I was going to press the button, but now it comes time to press the button. My body's going more into that fight and flight. Now, for a health thing, because it doesn't matter how much money you've got, if your health goes out the window, that's game over. Uh, just ask, uh, hmm. you know, just ask some of the richest guys in the world. Like, yeah, um, oh, Jobs, just ask Steve Jobs, for example, you know. Uh, how, yeah. Does he want another billion? Probably not. He'd probably rather be around, like, doing, uh, creating still. Um, so it doesn't matter how much money you've got. If you're not looking after your health, that really doesn't matter. So one thing, and actually the most important reason to be in rest and digest is that when you are in that place, your body's healing. Healing doesn't happen when you're being chased by a bear. Healing happens when you're relaxed, you're sat on a beach, your body's uh, doing the digestion, all that sort of good stuff. So anyway, I just thought I'd throw that out there as uh, another reason that it's a good reason to uh, you know take time out, uh, get relaxed and, uh, and not stress out too much. Before you hit the buy button. <laughs> Before you hit the buy button. Or the, the sell button. Yeah, or the sell button. So the, the sell button's actually going to be, uh, it's when you're uh, in a manic state, isn't it? So so that's more that's more of a euphoric state. So in that case, you're probably in the rest than that. Well, it's actually probably sympathetic, but you've got different sets of chemicals. The kind of funny thing is you use the same organs and... Um, it's the same organs, it's the same nerves. The only thing that's different is the chemicals going down those organs and nerves. So you change the chemicals, you have a completely different change to the result. So I just mm. uh, thought that that was uh, unusual. So obviously, uh, probably a lot more adrenaline in the fight and flight stage, and you get euphoric, uh, and there's more of those painkillers going in. So yeah, exactly, take yourself out, have a cold shower, go for a run. Ironically, running, uh, because because in day to day society we've got mortgages to pay we've got uh, we have bosses to answer to it's like having a bear chasing you but you can't get away from it and it isn't there and you can't even fight it or run away which is why actually going out for a run having some sort of exercise that makes you sweat makes you pant makes you move vigorously for thirty minutes to forty five minutes is vitally important. That actually resets it. So basically, you're telling the body, I've ran away from the bear now. And when you've finished, you've actually reset yourself. So your body's not firing completely in that sympathetic uh, system. So that's another good reason to uh, exercise regularly, make that part of your uh, 
uh, process. Okay, and as you say, before you press the sell or buy buttons. <laughs> there you go. That was just my little. Piece I've that. been uh, I've been doing the the cold. Well, I haven't done a cold plunge yet. I'm getting ready. I'm going to put one in my yard here, but uh, I've been doing the cold showers. So right. Last four or five days, I've been getting out of the the sauna, getting in the shower, showering off, and then turning the cold water on. And then I've been trying to do it in the morning too. It's the it's the most horrendous thing, but it does feel good. That's for sure. After you're done. Yeah. Yeah. I think I had about two or three years of doing that cold showers. I think coffee was talking about it as well. And I did it for a long time and uh, I could still, and I'm in the middle of Canada when it was minus 30, having a cold shower and the weirdest thing, you know, people back home in England will say, you know, you don't get wet. Cause if you get wet, you're going to get a cold. But you know, I did that for two years straight. I never had a cough or a cold. I mean, my immune system seemed uh, awesome. So there's definitely uh, some, you know, fake news around uh, what causes coughs and colds. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Have you seen Wim Hof? Have you seen him? The yeah, artist? yeah, it's the Wim Hof uh, that He's, I've been I've been looking into. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, in fact, uh, Hexo was talking about that uh, last year. He was doing a lot of cold showers, and getting into a an ice bath, and I tried that here for uh, for a while, <laughs> and you couldn't actually break the ice anymore. The ice was too thick. <laughs> <laughs> Forget uh, that. Forget that. I mean. I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a cold plunge because here in Cali, we don't, we don't have ice, uh, you know, <laughs> ice in our water. Every once in a while we'll freeze, but it's like a, a rare occasion that we, we get a freeze or a chill like that. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get a cold plunge and, uh, I've got a, 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 a jacuzzi already. So I'm going to do the hot, the cold. I do the sauna, do the hot, and the cold. And, uh, yeah. it's, it's actually, uh, helping my, my back lately. I've been, you know, I've been in a pretty good shape and I've got, you know, all these, d- these bad discs, but, uh, lately I've been doing pretty good. Um, yeah, you talk about you as a bunch, I mean, I'm not here to pump business or anything, but you've got a good guy. <laughs> I mean, you've got a good chiropractor. Yeah. Have you got, yeah. one? If you haven't, I'll find you a really good one. I got guys all over the world. I mean, literally Uh-oh. all over the world I can get hold well, of. My chiropractor's moving to Tennessee. So I'm losing him like in a month or two. And, uh, I have a massage therapist that I go to every week that she works yeah. on, you know, my, on my back. And, uh, but yeah, I need a, I am going to need a new chiropractor out here in California. I mean, I'm, I mean, I've got, obviously got an ongoing going list of things. There's so much I wanted to do that I haven't done already for the, uh, community, but, uh, yeah, I'm just, my daughter's just come back today from England. She's been in England for six months. She's playing for a professional soccer team there. So oh, nice. She's a minor, so my wife's also over there with her. She's coming back in a week's time. So there's so much I want to do, but anyway, I just haven't got around to it just yet. So, but uh, sorry, the point I was going to make is it'd be kind of neat because I mean, it's all right me appearing. I don't want to dox myself, and I don't particularly. And this isn't about chiropractic. This is about uh, crypto. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it would be nice if perhaps I make a video of how to find yourself a good chiropractor in the area that you live in, like a uh, kind of. But anyway, I need to. First of all, yeah, I mean, you know, we've, we've always, <laughs> we've always talked about health here on discourse syndicate. We, we, you know, because I mean, uh, how are you going to have, uh, uh, 15 year stakes if you can't make it to them? You know what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta, exactly. you gotta right Hey, we got another, we got another hexagon showing up here. Hold on a second. Oh, cool. What's happening, Johnny? How you doing? Oh, gee, what's up, man? How's it Not going? much. 